let's speak a little bit about this clip here that I've got uploaded, which features the one and the only Chris D'Elia complaining recently about fucking Amber Heard being welcomed back into Hollywood, which I don't think is true. The fact that this new Aqua movie, Aquaman movie, sorry, is coming out, I think Aquaman 2 and Amber Heard is still in it, isn't a representation of her being welcomed back into Hollywood. It's more so the fact that they can't reshoot it anymore because it costs money and they would rather just put the movie out as is and then whatever else happens after, happens after. But it's not an, edu an indication that she's back in Hollywood. If anything, the news recently that she put out her team, that she moved to Madrid, was a clear example that they're trying to put some distance between her and Hollywood anyway because they know it's over. She's bad for business. Hollywood people don't have any morals or principles. They just don't want to work with her because every press junkie that she'll do, they'll be asking her questions about Johnny Depp. And that's not good for business. If you invest hundreds of millions into a movie, the last thing you want to do is have one of your lead actors be on a fucking press conference answering questions about an abuse case. It's just not good optics. So they don't want it any, anywhere near it. And I think she's got the message and she decided to move to Europe. She speaks Spanish anyway. Act over here, do, starring some telenovelas in some, you know, Netflix t series, Spanish language, and she'll fucking smash it. She'll be fine. She'll be completely fine. But for some reason, Chris D'Elia is upset that he isn't being welcomed back into Hollywood the same way that Amber Heard is, even though his crimes are far worse, or what he's been alleged of doing off is far worse. She got accused of what? Essentially lying about Johnny Depp and the abuse that she suffered. Most of us you know grown-ups looking at the evidence and what's been available i didn't look too deep into that case but from what i could see they were both quite toxic they were both in a obviously abusive relationship mentally physically whatever it may be but she she did too much she started painting makeup on her face like she got a black eye she was lying she just did too much she did too much she tried to paint Johnny out to be a complete monster when she was obviously partly to blame for some of the things also and then when it went to court it got found out that she's a liar and it is what it is right who cares we move on but that's not the same thing as being accused of messaging underage girls that's not the same thing as being alleged of running a some sort of sex cult that's not the same thing as being abusive to your fans and shit that's not the same thing as being a creep that isn't the same thing unfortunately crystal and also to be completely fair and no homo you don't look like amber heard so apologies if hollywood doesn't welcome you back into the hollywood fold you don't look like amber heard so there's no reason for them to welcome you back in but hey Let's play the clip anyway of Chris Celia being pissed off that Amber Heard's back in Hollywood, which she isn't. To play fucking Shamu or whatever the goddamn name is. I don't know. The fucking stupid Aquaman shits, you know. But she's going to be back as Aqua Woman or whatever the fucking she -Ra, I don't know. Whatever the hell she's going to be. Flipper. And, um, you know, that's crazy. That is so crazy to me. By the way, she should be o o o Osiris or whatever the fuck her name is. Right? I personally think this isn't narcissism. People will say it's narcissism, but I don't think so. I just think he's dumb. I just think he's stupid. You know, like how professional athletes have to leave school or have to kind of concentrate on sports and school is like the secondary interest. And like Brendan, you get two degrees allegedly, but you pursue athletics, right? Or professional sports. Same thing with a you know, lifelong comedian or entertainment person. School was never the priority. He probably dropped out when he was 15 or something. He's like a Nepo baby, had every advantage, you know, had every privilege, everything given to him on a silver platter. He's just not smart. He's kind of dumb. So I don't think he's saying what he's saying because he's a narcissist. I think he's saying what he's saying because he's legitimately dumb, like double digit IQ dumb. That's why he's saying this. That's why he's annoyed and upset. <laughs> that he's not getting the same treatment as Amber Heard. <laughs> right? I don't give a fuck, but it is crazy that they will just reinstate a woman. And if it's a dude... I'm pretty sure, again, I, I, I didn't look too much deep into the conversation, into the allegations, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, when the whole Amber Heard and Johnny Depp shit happened, she was already filming for Aquaman 2. I remember that being an issue with people 
people were pissed off. Well, why didn't she get dropped? They should have fired her. But they were filming at the same time the case was going, I'm pretty sure. Then the ruling happened, the verdict, and then they couldn't kick her out then because it was too late. And also it was still bad optics because at the end of the day, she's still a woman. So, you know, no one really was standing out there admitting that she lied, but she essentially got proven in the court of law that she lied against Johnny Depp. Say what you want about the allegations, but the court said she lied. Cool, whatever, we move on. That's why she's in the movie still. It's just like a timing thing, really. It's not really um, an indication or a validation that she's not guilty or that they don't care about her verdict and they'd want to put in the movie still. And also, it's Aquaman 2, bruh. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Who fucking gives a shit? I don't know. Dude, they're fucking out, dude. They're out. They're out. You know what? I think stings him still to this day. Tignataro. The Tignataro replacing him in that fucking zombie movie in on green screen, right? It wasn't even like she got to act with the other actors, I think. I think the movie was already finished and they just replaced his head or some shit. And she did some roles on her own. Like, that must hurt him till this day. They didn't even remove him from the movie overall. They just replaced him with Tignataro. <laughs> that's gotta hurt <laughs> and he thought that was gonna be his big break in hollywood ouch a guy could like bump into a lady and he's done forever by the way and when a chick is like lying about the shit this world is mad dude and then i love how people are like fine they're not getting my 15 dollars. like who gives a shit cope i dude everybody does everything you know She's going to be fucking who she's going to be. She's obviously terrible. She's a terrible person because of all the bullshit. But also, we don't even really know what happened. Uh, you see what he has to do there? Because he got accused of shit, he can't really bury her because of the accusations. He has to always try and play. <laughs> who knows? She might be lovely. <laughs> because it kind of helps him out. So he can't really hate on her too hard. Because if he does, he's essentially, you know saying that we should hate on him the same way who the fuck knows who the, the relationship was probably toxic who the fuck knows but um she's back she's back as the fucking lady in aquaman and uh that's what's up he's genuinely pissed off and it's not because he's a narcissist it's because he's a fucking idiot he's comparing his situation with amber heard fucking wild so I guess they're going to cut me back into fucking Army of the Dead now. Um, oh, that's a movie, Army of the Dead. Release the Dalia cut, dude. Release the Dalia cut, my baby. Yeah, this guy is fucking a nutcase. Chris Dalia is a fucking nutcase for real. But he's also incredibly dumb. I wouldn't be surprised if he left school at like 15 or some shit. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. Wouldn't surprise me. He's probably the type of person that has hand... You know, his, his handwriting probably looks like... You know when you try and write with your left hand or whatever hand you're not natural with? That's probably how his normal handwriting looks. <laughs> he probably reads like Floyd Mayweather. I guarantee you, this kid is fucking dumb. Dumb as fucking bricks. <laughs> Why didn't they put me in the movie back like Amber Heard? It's like, bruh. You've been you've been accused of being a pedo. You've been accused of grooming women. There's probably going to be accusations coming out there of you maybe raping them. Most likely, hundreds of women. There's documentaries out there about you. This isn't the same thing. I'm sorry, brother. I'm really sorry, but it's not the same. Actually, I'm not sorry. You should be. You belong under a jail. You belong under a prison. You're lucky you don't have an orange jumpsuit on. You're still making money podcasting. You're fine. It's okay. Relax. Take it easy. But one thing for certain, you're not Amber Heard. And he's going on as if fucking Amber Heard is Sandra Bullock. Her career is also over because guess what? She got found guilty in a court of law and the court of public opinion said, we don't like you. So that's why she's not back in the fucking, you know, she's not out there in Cannes, is she, at the moment on the red carpet. But Johnny Depp is. Come on, bro. That guy is fucking, honestly, the worst human ever. But anyway, moving on. 